This is Emily Walker, MedPage Today, reporting from Capitol Hill, where the House Ways and Means Subcommittee on Health held a hearing Wednesday on Medicare provider payment policies that are set to expire. I spoke with Dr. Robert Waugh, the chairman of the American Medical Association's Board of Trustees, who explained one of the payment policies discussed at the hearing, the Geographic Practice Cost Indices, or GPCI for short. So GYPSI is about the geographic variation, so the cost of living differences based on the location around the country. That's what the gypsies are about. And so there's a provision in there to extend uh, the floor that everybody gets paid at a certain rate regardless of where they live. And then those that live in the more high cost areas will have increases in their payments because they have higher costs of maintaining a practice in these high cost centers. So that gypsy extender is to extend that process. The AMA is very much advocating that we not make this a budget neutral process. We don't think it should be shackled by the budget neutrality rules because if we need to increase the gypsy payments in one geographic area because it costs more, we shouldn't do it at the detriment of another location. Bruce Steinwald, an economist who testified before the committee, had a different view than the others and urged Congress not to extend payment policies without considering the long-term sustainability of Medicare. It's one of the, the problems that Congress has to deal with periodically. Um, they've created a number of exceptions to Medicare's payment rules, and the people who benefited from those exceptions want them to be extended. Um, they have a difficult job of figuring out which one should be extended and which one shouldn't. Um, the other witnesses on the panel were all in favor of ex extending certain exceptions depending on who their constituencies are. It was my job to be the, the skunk at the picnic and, and, and tell the members um, they should be very cautious about extending these exceptions because of Medicare's financial difficulties and because it's not so clear that all of these exceptions need to be extended and whether there's a real important beneficiary need being met if they are extended. One always hears from providers that they need more. Um, we pay an awful lot for health care in this country. We pay hospitals and doctors and other health care providers more than other countries do. We also, uh, under Medicare's fee-for-service payment systems, um, we we have continually have additional services, more volume, more complexity of services that drive spending up. Uh, so I think there's actually plenty of money in the Medicare system. I think it could be distributed much better, which is why I think we should focus on the payment formulas and improving them as opposed to finding exceptions that providers will become dependent on and then ask to be continued. Waugh said that no discussion of extending smaller payment policies can be had without talking about the bigger picture. The entire Medicare uh, physician payment system needs to be revamped, overhauled completely. Doing these little patches is not the solution. The problem we have was generated because the system itself is in so need of repair that every year they've got to come back and do these patches. The biggest and most talked about Medicare payment policy, the sustainable growth rate, which calls for massive cuts in physician pay each year, was not a topic of discussion at the hearing. That'll be saved for a later date. From Capitol Hill, this is Emily Walker, MedPage Today.